everyone, it's Sandy here, and we are going to do an Ipsy bag unbagging today. I almost said Ipsy haul. We're going to do an Ipsy unbagging, and this is for December 2016. So, um, I get these every month, but I haven't done these for a while, and um, if you're interested in seeing more of my my unbaggings, um, you can go to my other channel. I may post this on, on two different channels, on the Beauty 30 and Mommy's Frugal Finds. Um, or if you don't see any more of these types of videos on this channel, um, just stay tuned for more of these. I'm going to try to start doing these again. Um, and I'm also going to be signing up for, um, the Birchbox one. So I've been hearing good things about Birchbox. Um, I also get the Walmart one. So that's periodically, it's only like four or five times, um, every season it comes out and it's only $5 a month. Um, it's basically free and you just pay for the shipping. Um, and this one is $10 a month. So it's really worth it. Like at first I thought it wasn't such a good deal um, because I really didn't like the products that I was getting at first, but now I think it's a more customized fit for what I like um, because I've been doing the little things that they, they ask um, a lot of, you know, subscribers to do like, um, you know, update your profile and make sure all of your colors are the ones you like and products that are ones you like and do surveys and stuff like that. And I think that really helps um, for them to send the right products to you. Because that's basically what I've been doing a lot more of. I've kind of, like at first I was ignoring that kind of stuff, but now I, I really look into that kind of stuff and I take like a few minutes out of my time to, you know, do those product reviews and um, different things like that so you know they have all those little activities and you know it's kind of like time consuming and at first I was like oh I don't want to do this because it's a waste of time but you know every company's got their little things that you want they want you to do and there's only so much time in a day so you always end up putting those on the back burner I know for me personally I do because I have a million other things ahead of that so anyways enough about that so uh, the first thing I see is this um, little card and it just kind of like gives you a little update. Um, it says um, our 2016 beauty bucket list, something about um, join the party. I'll look at that later, but nothing super, super important. And here's the bag for the month. Ooh, very festive looking bag. And it kind of matches my festive nails, which one of them fell off, but you can't really see that. <laughs> so, um, Anyways, yeah, it's like a little shimmery bag, and looks like it's pretty well made. It's kind of crinkly. It's got like a little little wrist strap, so you could use it as a little little clutch. So let's just jump right in and see what we, what we got this month. Ooh, it looks good. Oh my gosh, I haven't got one of these yet. Oh my gosh, I am loving this brand Tarte. If anyone hasn't tried this brand, definitely sign up for Ipsy because this brand is very expensive. And a lot of these brands, these are all high-end quality stuff that you get for $10. So why would you not want to subscribe to this? I mean, I don't know about you, but I seriously cannot afford to go spend like $30 or $40 or even $20 for like high-end, just like for a little lip gloss or something like that, you know? I am all about getting my money's worth if I'm spending any money on makeup or beauty products or anything like that. I have to get my money's worth. So this is definitely something that you should look into. Um, sometimes they even have promotions where you could try it free and I haven't seen them lately, but when I first signed up, they did have things like that. Birchbox, I think does once in a while. Um, but you could also look into other subscription companies too. Um, there's several other, oh my gosh, look at that color. <laughs> it's like a brown color. I'm going to try it on. It's probably like super dark. Oh my goodness. Here we go. I am going to try to put this on really super light because, oh my gosh, it's nighttime and I'm getting ready for bed. As you can see, I'm in my pajamas, so sorry about that. I actually checked my mail late today and uh, I just wanted to film this video while my kids were gone. Um, because my kids are with their dad right now, so I just wanted to go ahead and film while it was quiet in the background, and I really like that color. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. 
it's really, it's not like overwhelming. It's, I thought it would be like more of a purpley hue, but it's more of like a, you know, natural kind of reddish pinkish brown, if that makes sense. Then we've got Mica Beauty Cosmetics. We have a little brush. And I don't know about you, but I really like my brushes to be soft. If they're soft, I just feel like they're gonna apply the makeup a lot better. And they're gonna apply it more smoothly. <clears throat> That's really nice, I like that. That's really super soft, I like it. I'm gonna keep it in the little thing, because I wanna keep it nice. And then, ooh, we have a NYX Cosmetics um, eye palette, bedroom eyes, so this is like a brownish hue, kind of has a little shimmer to it, which I will definitely use that because I'm all about using browns. I really like the more neutral tones because I have brown eyes and I kind of want them to stand out a little bit, but not too much. Like, I usually don't really wear, like, overwhelming tones, like, I mean, you won't really see me wearing things like blue or things like that unless I'm like feeling kind of crazy or like going to an event or I don't know it just depends I'm once in a great while but normally like on a day-to-day -day basis I just wear like browns and neutrals and taupes and even whites and beige and stuff like that um we have what is this precise eyeliner intensely precise eyeliner by Ahora Aurora Okay, Aurora. I think I said that wrong. So, let's see what color it is. It says something about... Did it say Blackberry? Blackberry, so... I'm guessing it... It's, ooh. It's black. It's not like a Blackberry. I was thinking it was like a purplish, like a Blackberry. Like a dark purple... But no, that's an actual like black eyeliner. Ooh, and it stays on too. I tried to I tried to like wipe that off and that's not going anywhere. That's gonna be a good one. And then we have Ooh, I need this. Argan Oil of Morocco protects color deep hydrating conditioning treatment. Extra repairing revives weak dry damaged hair use weekly. I was thinking that was a moisturizer. I really need a moisturizer for my skin, but I really like this too. So I'll definitely use that. I love argan oil. And I usually buy, there's one at Sally Beauty that I like a lot, and it's only like $10 a bottle, and it's a pretty decent sized bottle. It's Moroccan, something like Moroccan argan oil or something, and it's like in a brown tube. It's a, a big brown tube that's made like this, but a big tube. Um, so if you color your hair, like I go to Sally and I buy my own beauty products, my own hair products, and I, I actually do my roots and color my own hair. So um, it literally costs me like a dollar a month to color my hair using Sally's beauty products. And um, yeah, I, I did a video on that. Oops, things are getting kind of dark. I don't know why but my lighting just got really bad. Sorry about that. I don't know why my lighting got super, super bad, but... Anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up, and if you would like to see that video about how I color my hair and um, what beauty products I use to do my roots and stuff like that, um, I think it's on, I want to say it's on Mommy's Frugal Finds, um, and I think it's on Beauty 32. I'm not positive on that, so check around and look at my other um, channels and my other videos. So anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye.